This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, David Muir. Good afternoon, I'm David Muir, and we come on the air at this hour because there is breaking news. The president announcing just moments ago that there will be an emergency order to ground all of those 737 MAX 8 planes. There had been a lot of concern about this after the crash in Ethiopia and the crash just months prior involving the same kind of plane. As you know, these jets have been grounded all over the world, including the U.K., Germany, and France. And again, President Trump moments ago announcing they will ground those jets right here in the United States. Let's listen. Thank you very much for being here. I know that you've all been following the terrible tragedy of the Ethiopian Airlines crash this weekend. Tragic. The FAA is prepared to make a announcement very shortly regarding the new information and physical evidence that we've received from the site and from other locations and through a couple of other complaints. We've uh, had a very, very detailed group of people working on the 737-8 and the 737-9 new airplanes. Uh, we're going to be issuing an emergency order of prohibition to ground all flights of the 737 MAX 8 and the 737 MAX 9 and planes associated with that line. So there you have it, President Trump at the White House just a short time ago announcing that here in the United States, they are issuing an order to ground all of the Boeing 737 MAX 8 and 9 jets. You're seeing uh, one of those jets right there in that video. There had been concern uh, here in the U.S. because those jets were still flying, despite the fact that those passenger jets had been grounded elsewhere, as I mentioned at the top, in the U.K., France, Germany, and in other countries. Obviously, all of this follows the deadly crash in Ethiopia. Everyone on board killed, including several Americans who were on board that flight. And of course, the Lion Air a crash that came just months prior with very similar descriptions of what might have happened that brought those jets down. I want to bring in ABC's David Curley, who covers aviation for us. And David, you've been reporting on this for days now. And pressure had been mounting on President Trump and on the administration to do something, especially given the fact that other governments around the world had taken action. There was a lot of public pressure to do something about this. The FAA said, though, that it was basing its decision not to ground on evidence. Canada just was the latest to ground the aircraft earlier today, and that minister in Canada suggested there is new evidence from satellite data. He didn't say what that data is, but suggesting some kind of pattern that they see between these two accidents. The president saying that it had information from the site and elsewhere and complaints and that's why this emergency order. It's unclear to me whether the FAA has decided to do this because of evidence-based decisions or whether the president has ordered it because he wants to calm the public and take care of this. There are 72 of these aircraft flying in the United States of America, 34 by Southwest, 24 by uh, uh, American, and 14 of the nines, which is a slightly longer version that United is flying. And so all all of those will now go to the ground. That basically means the entire fleet of the brand new 737 Maxes have been grounded. Just a couple of weeks ago, 8,500 flights a week by these aircraft, David. So it will have some impact on airlines. They're going to have to find aircraft from other parts, uh, bring them out of maintenance or whatever in order to deal with their schedules that they have. But this is a emergency order according to the president and as i say it's unclear whether it's coming from the white house and told the FAA or the FAA has decided there is evidence that they need to ground this. Yeah, but that, that's the key point there, David, as you point out. The president saying that there is evidence now leading to this decision to ground the Boeing 737, the new MAX 8 and 9 planes. It's the newest jet, the fastest selling uh, of all their models. And, and David, as all of this has been playing out, there's also been news of an update for that particular jet involving the computer system in the cockpit that was coming anyway. Right. So if you go back to the first accident, which was in Indonesia, it was a series of events that happened. There was a sensor that was installed incorrectly and gave bad data to the computer. The computer thought it was in a stall, and so it nosed down the aircraft to get out of that stall. And what Boeing had done in this new aircraft was made the stick go up a little bit stronger when it goes into that protective mode. But that entire protective mode was based on just one data point. And so Boeing is updating the software so it'll be more than just one data point. 
that will determine whether or not this plane gets force nose down. Uh, that's the software update that is coming. And David, I should, should add as well that this grounding is coming as we are waiting for the data from the black boxes. And that's what's going to tell us really whether these are connected, these two accidents are connected or not. The Ethiopians have finally agreed to send the boxes outside of Ethiopia. They don't have the equipment to read them. They're going to Europe. Most likely, I would guess, is the United Kingdom to read out that data. And that will tell us within hours whether or not these two accidents are related, if there's something wrong with this aircraft and this grounding is justified. But in the meantime, David Curley, stay with us here as we continue the breaking coverage. I want to put back up on the screen for viewers at home the three airlines here in the United States that this affects. American Airlines, Southwest Airlines, and United Airlines all fly either the new 737 MAX 8 or the MAX 9. We know in our reporting on World news tonight that viewers have been concerned uh, wondering if they're going to be getting on one of those flights they should now know that president trump moments ago ordered the grounding of those uh, new jets i do want to bring in colonel stephen ganyard to pick up on a point that david curley mentioned moments ago that software update after the lion air crash that uh, was connected to uh, an error from a particular sensor that would in effect cause that jet to do sort of a, a nosedive and now in this latest crash a very similar description as of yet. Of course, we await the black boxes, but that would seem to be evidence in and of itself that there was a correction on the way, Stephen. Yeah, David, I think that the key point here is that the uh, that the correction that Boeing is putting in is really, it's, it's an additive correction. The thing that would have saved the Lion Air flight is just adhering to the procedures that the 737 has had for years and years and years. So the thing to also note about the sensor that was giving Im improper uh, inputs in the Lion Air crash is that that aircraft flew for four flights without being fixed properly. So there was maintenance malpractice involved. Uh, the airplane should have never gone down if the, if the pilots had just followed procedures. So it appears what Boeing is doing is putting in a software fix that will prevent anybody from making a mistake. Uh, but you go back to this, the, uh, the crash in uh, Ethiopia, and we still have zero evidence of anything related to the MAX 8. Uh, so oftentimes politics is driven by fear and driven by emotion. I think that's what we're seeing here because the, the public fear that's sort of grown around the world due to the similarities between the two mishaps uh, has brought this uh, brought this to a head. But there is no logical reason, there is no evidence that the uh, this airplane was brought down because of a problem with this MAX 8 aircraft. Yeah, no public evidence yet, but the president did address the fact that he said this is based on uh, evidence that he has received or the FAA has received at this point, not an abundance of caution. Um, so, Colonel Ganyard, our thanks to you, our thanks to David Corley, and again, the breaking headline at this hour, President Trump a short time ago and now grounding those jets, Boeing 737 MAX 8, MAX 9 planes, as Colonel Ganyard pointed out, at least publicly, not until now had there been any evidence uh, provided on that Ethiopia uh, crash just a couple of days ago that would have led to this grounding of these jets, although we do know that there was growing public pressure and leaders around the world had taken this action in, in several countries, uh, the UK, uh, Germany, France, and now Canada today, among the list, the growing list of countries, and now the U.S., adding to that list. President Trump grounding those jets. We'll have much more. Continuing coverage on ABC News Live, abcnews.com, and of course, I'll see you a short time from now on World News Tonight. Until then, good day. This has been a special report from ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.